This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. This is the BBC. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. If you've come to give me a lecture, Debbie... I know, I haven't, I promise. Good. I haven't got the headspace. I found some mould. Ugh. And Lucy can't have weatherproofed the yurts properly while I was in South Africa, at least. Not this one. Um, I can lend a hand? Nope, there's no need. The only good thing about so few bookings is being able to catch up on maintenance. Yeah, you keep spiritual home in pretty good shape, Kate. Of course I do. And uh, Mum said that she and Phoebe gave you a hand the other week, too. Well, I can't offer clients spiritual cleansing if they don't feel comfortable in their surroundings. No. Which is why low mead is such a nightmare for me. Yeah, I've um, some suggestions about that. If you've got a minute, I've come up with one or two ideas. Such as? Well, um, one possibility... Oh, God, wait a second, all this dark oh, tablet's been playing up all morning. Oh, wait, that's it. Uh, yeah. Instead of um, selling separate parcels of land, like Dad tried last week, we could sacrifice Oak Bank altogether, like this. But you're still selling a strip through Broadacre with it? Less than before. No, opposite the yurts, that's no good. Um, otherwise, we can't offer access. No. I, I, can't, I can't see a way round it. You said you had another idea? Uh, well, yeah, um, this goes back to selling several parcels, um, uh, most of them towards leaders. You see? Now, they'd make quite an attractive package. So the same part of Broadacre going? It might not be so heavily used this way. Oh, forget it. I, I really have tried. Whatever we sell, we've got to offer access. You're as bad as everyone else. You just don't get it, do you, what this place means to me? Yeah, perhaps I don't. So, why don't you tell me about it? Oh, thanks. Just the job. Oh, happy to lend it, Robert. Well, I'm not sure what's happened to my angle grind. I have a feeling James and Leone, you know, borrowed it last time they were here. We won't need it for long, Dave. We're almost there. Well, despite you helping. <laughs> and your brother's had some good ideas. Mm. Well, yeah, it's a fascinating challenge. Getting the whack-a-mole working again. What's the problem? Well, originally, I thought it was a snail canvas. Yeah, you know, the uh, little um, was it, gizmos converting rotary motion to lift the yeah, levers. I know what snail cams are, thank you, Kenton. When they checked out, we looked at the followers. Yeah. And then I thought that it might be an underpowered motor. Now nah, we can rule that out. Yeah, yeah, maybe. It's had quite a history. Several parts appear to have been cannibalised. I assume you've checked the touch sensors. Ah, yeah. Uh, no, several times. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, from mm. this angle, the frame looks slightly out of true. The boys are in here, Jim. Afternoon, gentlemen. Ah, uh, hello, Jim. Ah, thanks for coming over. Your wife's been showing me her moles, Robert. <laughs> Quite something, aren't they? Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> they will be when I finish painting them. Oh, they'll be fabulous. As long as we can get the blessed machine working again. Well, how's it going? Well, is that why you're here? Uh, Robert told me there's a glitch, and since I do have some facility in these matters... It's very good of you to come over. Uh, mm, quite a beast, isn't it? <laughs> mm. We've ruled out the snail cans. And the followers. And the motor. Well, mm. ah, what about the touch sensors? Mm. It took me so long to choose the right place. Out of the wind, not too close to the trees, mm -hmm. well away from the pylons in Littleton. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot. And the first time I walked through it, I felt such a positive energy, a healing force coming out <laughs> of the ground. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. No, no, I'm not, Kate. Well, Dad does, if I try to explain, and Alice. Look, having the right atmosphere must be so important for what you're doing. And you can look across to the Am and Hayden Brook from here, Leaders Wood. Mm. There's always so much sky. Whenever I'm really down or fed up with myself, I come here and look around. 
to connect with something bigger than just me and my skin. We all need that, mm. even if we find it in different ways. I, I really do understand why you want to keep spiritual home here. Nowhere else on the farm comes close. I don't want to sue. No, no. And if Dad forgets about selling Broadacre, I'll drop it at once. I won't ask for anything else from the partnership. Yeah. Um, yeah, if, if that isn't possible, um, I, I've talked about this with Dad, perhaps we could offer you compensation. No. Even if it's enough to make a fresh start elsewhere. No, that's the last thing I want. Oh. All I ever do is make fresh starts. I'm sick of it. Well, scrap that then. I was stupid enough to think about moving away a couple of weeks ago because it's what I've done my whole life. Mm. Chuck everything up in the air when things go wrong. Until I started Spiritual Home. I love this place, Debbie. And I'm making it work. I don't want to give it up. Okay. I know it just seems like a joke to you. No, no, it, it doesn't. Well, it must do. I mean, you've always been brilliant at everything. <laughs> what? I'm a fantastic farmer and Dad's favourite. Hardly. You've got a wonderful job in Hungary. Everyone respects you. Yeah. How about I envy you three wonderful children? <laughs> well, three kids who didn't think much of me until... And, you know, that's what's been so great. Phoebe sticking up for me over spiritual home. It's the first time she's ever done that. Yeah, that must feel good. And Lola Tando likes me doing something with my life. I've even been getting on better with Sipo. I'm becoming the sort of mum that they could look up to. Yeah, I can see that. It's not just spiritual home you will want me to give up. It's everything that makes my life worth living. Progress of a sort. Oh, not really. I, we've lost the random element. We can't call it whack-a-mole if there's only one of the little beggars moving up and down. Whack-the-mole? Oh, it's less a game of skills, more like out-and-out -out bullying. Where's Robert got to? Rooting out his 30-part socket set. He thinks he'll have to take the whole thing apart again. Oh, uh, I've got to watch the time. I've more flags to put out before the semi-final. Who do you think will win? Oh, Jim, it's got to be England, hasn't it? Especially the way Maguire, Kane and Tripps are playing. Well, I can't say I usually find football compelling, but I've been drawn in this time. Though it would be unwise to underestimate Croatia. Whoa. Oh, Dave was right. Sorry? Before he scuttled off. About the touch sensors, I told you so. No. Now, ah, where's the spirit level? Hello, Debbie. David, are you busy? Um, no more than usual. What are my chances of a stiff drink and a sympathetic ear any time soon? Oh, uh, when are you talking about? Uh, ideally now. Oh, Right. Before I go mad, I'm having the... Oh, a visit from hell. Oh. No, come right over. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it'll be great to see you. <laughs> Thanks. And, um... But Ruth probably wouldn't mind a quick chat while you're here. I think you'll see quite a transformation from earlier, Lindy. Well, I'm glad something worked out this afternoon. Oh, are you joining us, Monty? I rang the courier again. He's still out and they won't give me his number. Not Bernie Bennett. Why not do what Justin suggested? Ask Neil instead. Is this Bernie Bennett the motoring correspondent? Yeah. Girl I spoke to promised me he'd call back by tomorrow. I didn't know he was a real person. Well, a very elusive one. I assumed it was whoever they have on work experience that week. And Neil will be perfect for Pets Party pieces. Hmm. Well, the rest of the fate committee thinks so. Don't they, Monty, eh? Let's wait till I've spoken to Bernie. Now then, the breakthrough. Ah, yes. Well, I finally spotted the problem. Well, David did. The frame was very, very slightly wonky. Uh, one of the Perspex panels was catching a snail cam. And throwing everything else out of sync. Ah. It's fixed now. Or will be, once the moles are in place. Oh, here we are. It should be dry. Ah, thanks. Let's pop them on the followers. 
Any more luck with Monty this afternoon? Nope. He's been quite skittish. Yeah, shame on you, Monty. At one stage, I thought he'd mastered counting to five. That's good. But it was only a wood pigeon setting him off. You've given these bowls a very extraordinary expression, Linda. They're very aggressive. I prefer assertive. There you go. Felt very sorry for them, constantly being clobbered with a mallet. There we are. Okay. Ready, Lindy? Oh, yes. We start. Not a mole in sight. And then, <gasps> as if by magic... Oh, 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 no. Never mind, Lindy. I'm sure we can fit a new head on before the fate. Yeah, there you go. Oh, cheers. If you want something stronger, we could go back to the kitchen. No, I'd rather stay out here. Right. So, you had a chat with Ruth then? Yeah. Oh, I can't apologise enough. Oh, it's not your fault. It's my family's fault. Well. It has been pretty full on this week. Brian, Adam, Alice, all giving her an ear bashing. I know. She was talking about resigning as Rory's oh, attorney. I wouldn't blame her if she did. We had a good moan about how impossible it all is. Oh, it must be awful. I don't know how much uh, Ruth's told you. Oh, nothing that isn't common knowledge. She takes her role seriously. Mm, well, you've got the general idea. We have to raise an awful lot of capital, which means selling land or buildings we don't want to lose. Yeah. None of us can agree on it. Kate's got her ideas, so's Alice. Neither of them will budge an inch. I'm, I can't really blame oh, them. And I had hoped for more wriggle room with Adam, even though he hates the idea of selling off land. No luck? He'd reluctantly agreed to one possible package, but since the buyer backed out and we've had to come up with alternatives, he's digging his heels in. Says the new proposals be like death by a thousand cuts. To see the farm start shrinking must be soul-destroying. Yeah, he's got a point. But just like Kate and Alice. And there's Rory to look after. Which is why we're so grateful to Ruth. And you've got your own share of the business to consider. Oh, never mind me. I'm more concerned about protecting Mum's interests. And Dad's. <laughs> Whatever else he made the farm what it is today, we can't just ignore his opinion. <laughs> I can't imagine him letting that happen. <laughs> I spent so much time dreaming up alternatives. None of them are any good. No. Oh, it's turning me inside out, David. <laughs> Whatever the meeting decides on Friday, someone I love is going to get very badly hurt.